Lazada suddenly off when 2024 start is so serious that even MOM is involved. Here's why this is super abnormal. Lah. So, so, ah, so, the reason uh, why your mom is involved uh, is that she buys her grocery from Red Mart uh, and she's not. Uh, 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 uh. MOM is Ministry of Power, not your mom. Uh. Hey, sorry, sorry, bugger, bugger, bugger. Yeah, usually, uh, a retrenchment is a big issue in the working world. If you are a 22 year old fresh grad, losing your job uh, could just mean a new opportunity for you to do a viral TikTok video uh, of how you are retrenched and how your mind uh, is now clear and you are now a new person. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Then uh, you go back to finding a new job, documenting your journey in TikTok. But if you are a 45 year old professional who is responsible for HDB loans, car loans, household expenses, children's tuition fee, and many other fixed expenses, uh, losing your job suddenly uh, could lead to very, very serious consequences that won't just affect you, but your family members too. Eh? That's why in Singapore, uh, employees are protected from unfair dismissals. Uh. Like, uh, do you know that your boss uh, cannot just anyhow he fire you uh, just because he doesn't like your face? Cause uh, if that's the case, uh, then you will never hold a job for more than a month. Uh. You get it, if you get it, you get it. <laughs> Similarly, uh, companies also cannot anyhow they do retrenchments. MOM suggests that before you retrench, uh, you need to really treat it as a last resort. Uh. Here's the thing, uh, if you have more than 10 employees, uh, you die die need to notify MOM about the retrenchment exercise. Then after that, uh, give retrenchment benefits. Uh. And here's the thing again, if you really decide to retrench uh, and your company is unionized, uh, you actually need to talk to your union first. Eh. This is where it gets a little confusing. Uh. So, so let me explain. Uh. You see, uh, as a boss, uh, you are blah, 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 very powerful with lots of resources. So when you retrench others, uh, whether fair or unfair, uh, these people who are retrenched uh, are blah, 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 powerless without resources. No good, right? Cannot let you have all the power, ma. That's when unions come in. Uh. Think of them as a, 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 a group of people uh, to give power to the employees. Uh. When there's a dispute, uh, the employee will become so-called powerful with lots of resources to kind of fight back. Because the union will represent the employee. Aga aga, this is how it works. Uh. And of course, companies don't have unions uh, since uh, they are giving powers uh, to their slaves. I, I mean, their employees, employees, employees. Over in other countries, you often see unions crashing with organizations, even with the government, to fight for employees' rights. But in Singapore, uh, a bit different. Uh. We are very peaceful uh, cause the unions, government and companies uh, all work together sui sui wang. Even if got dispute, uh, they will settle it privately and that happens more often than you know one. Eh. Therefore, uh, some companies in Singapore are unionized whereby they have unions uh, to protect the workers. This is attractive to employees cause they know they are protected ma, while to employers, uh, they can use that as a benefit instead of putting users things uh, like bin bags or sleeping pots. So, unionized companies uh, need to do one more thing before retrenchment talk to the union they are in. Cause remember, the union protects employees. Usually, these are done privately too, la, like the many debt retrenchment la, in the last two years. One of the times la, when it got into the news la, is when aircraft maintenance company Eagle Services Asia was still negotiating with their union, la, suddenly lay off workers, prompting the union to publicly speak out about them. So, what happened to Lazada? Le? If they have just followed the usual steps of retrenchment, uh, which is to consult with his union before retrenchment, it will just be another day uh, when your red mark groceries arrive, uh, but apparently uh, they didn't. Uh. Unlike the Eagle Service Asia, uh, where but at least uh, they are in the midst of talking to their union, uh, Lazada uh, just suddenly retrenched uh, without talking to their union at all. Say, uh. In fact, uh, I think no one will know uh, until news reports come out. Say. NTUC, uh, which is like the mother of all unions, uh, and the union that Lazada is in, uh, the Food, Drinks and Allied Workers Union, uh, came out immediately. Uh. Remember how unions, government and companies uh, always work privately uh, to settle any disputes. This time, uh, it got serious uh, as they publicly say that they have expressed deep disappointment as Lazada has not even consulted the unions uh, before retrenchment. And the unions even escalated it up to the Ministry of Manpower, uh, which is scary because eh, MOM uh, can post penalties one. Eh. Basically, uh, in the world of public relations, uh, you can say that the unions uh, are biting back strongly. Uh. Lazada so far just kept on saying that it's to future-proof our business and people, but didn't touch on the layoffs. Uh. As of now, uh, this is what happened. Uh. So download our app uh, to know the latest update. Uh. Also, uh, if you think you have learned something, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.